Hello everyone and welcome to the interview of the week segment on our channel, The Power of Excel. So today we have with us uh, Mr. Dheeraj Nagpal, who is working with Tiger Analytics as an analyst in data science. In the past, he has worked with Infosys as a system engineer and after that switched to Tiger Analytics to get into the data science stream. So thank you Dheeraj for accepting our invitation for an interview. Uh, please tell me something more about yourself, especially in your current role. Hi, first of all, thanks for having me here. Uh, talking about my role, I am currently working as an analyst data science uh, at Tiger. Mm -hmm. uh, I graduated from uh, tier three college in 2021 and uh, worked in a service based firm for uh, one year. And then I work uh, there, I worked mostly on support project in Python, Unix and uh, Linux scripting type of work. Uh, okay. I had a huge interest in data science from my college days. Uh, so I I want to switch. And after that, I switched to Tiger after one year uh, from uh, Infosys. Um, uh, and talking about my journey, I started uh, into, uh, into this data, uh, getting into uh, data and analytics uh, from my second year of my college. Uh, okay. After learning Python, someone suggested me, you should try uh, in this domain. So I thought of giving it a try, and after that, after that point, I constantly made projects, uh, did a lot of Kaggle competitions, uh, did a lot of hackathons, and uh, did a research as well with my professor um, on CNN and deep, deep learning neural networks. Uh, so yeah, talking uh, here in Tiger, I am in a fresher kind of role uh, as I just got into it, and right now I, I'm working on some optimization problems in food industry. Uh, okay. So yeah, it is just a start for me, and more yet to come. All right. So I uh, think you have some experience in uh, Python right now. Uh, what what other tools have you been using as of now? Uh, as of now, I am uh, using Excel. I am using Tableau. Uh, I am using uh, basic uh, Python libraries like Pandas, NumPy, uh, for right. uh, and Seaborn for visualization. Uh, okay. These basic stuff I am using right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, did they tell me one thing, uh, since you switched from a services kind of a profile to an analytics kind of a profile, so how difficult was it for you to switch from uh, services to analytics and how has been your uh, journey in that sense? So, what are the, uh, you can highlight your key challenges and what all you faced during that phase when you switch from uh, services to analytics? If I talk honestly, it is quite difficult actually, as I am from tier three. Um, but uh, as I got experienced uh, working in the industry, I got better in my communication skills. Uh, I got, uh, I have basic projects as well. I have uh, a research as well. Uh, that research helped me help a lot uh, to get into this domain. Like, uh, if if you, if we're interviewing this in this data science domain, they they just focus more on your skill set. They focus on your projects. Uh, okay. So just keep your projects updated, keep uh, good, good projects, excellent projects, uh, enhance your knowledge then, and be passionate. Uh, don't lose hope. Uh, everything will be all right. All right. But you'll have, I, I think you must have had to work extra hard on the learning these uh, on the Python and Tableau and so and so forth. So was there an extra effort involved in that sense? Uh, not an extra effort actually, like I started from my second year only, I, I realized I, I need to get a job, uh, okay. in my second year. So uh -huh. I started, uh, doing this stuff like, uh, in my, uh, and lo made a lot of projects from, from the beginning, uh, that, uh, that time helped me to reduce the pressure in at the end moment. So yeah. Uh, if you are not doing uh, projects uh, and starting uh, uh, after graduating your college, then it will be more difficult to you, uh, obviously. Okay. All right. Yeah. So uh, considering the industry you are in currently and considering the current trends in uh, data analytics and data science, so which analytical tools and skills do you think are relevant in today's times? Uh, I think uh, uh, in today's time, in this world of Kaggle and competitions, like uh, we always, I, I, I always think that we uh, uh, get a structured data uh, and someone is applying uh, good, good machine learning models, 
uh, fancy mm. machine learning models and uh, getting the results uh, and uh, making ourselves happy uh mm. rather uh, one should focus uh, on and spend some time on uh, data uh, develop some intuition behind it uh, mm. uh, 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 spend some time with data ask some business questions to yourself what do you think about the data uh, mm. look at the distributions look at the statistics about it uh, work with excel uh, uh, work with uh, pivoting work with visualizations in excel do some eda after that Uh, uh, all those stuff are uh, uh, is the combination of the first step only and after uh, doing this step uh, just then focus on technical skills like python or r you can choose any of the languages uh, right, uh, sql is also very important uh, uh, nice. and uh, yeah uh, so these are the basic stuff like python has a lot of uh, good libraries as well like awesome libraries uh, so right. you we can focus on python as uh, for uh, gaining the knowledge yeah right. these are the basic stuff you need to get into the industry that's it uh, yeah right so uh, what do you think what role has analytics played in changing the way you're working in your current company so uh, if analytics was not there versus now being uh, analytics being used almost everywhere so how do you think analytics is going to play a role in right now in, in this current industry and in the future also to some extent uh like uh, uh, in in this uh, uh, like uh, for example if i give you example in this today's in today's world like uh, tra- uh, the traditional analytics analytics is was being used traditionally uh, as well in financial sector in banking sector because mm-hmm. of the data domain data uh, driven uh, uh, concept so uh, but uh, uh, what i what i'm saying in this today today trend is every sector is using analytics every sector mm-hmm. is using uh, data every sector uh, want to use their data to get some insights uh, mm-hmm. so like for example in food sector only like you need to optimize something uh, to get the uh, maximum sale maximum profits maximum revenue Uh, right. so all those stuff uh, are very much uh, like analytics has made these uh, things very easy uh, mm-hmm. so i think uh, the future is for analytics um, and one should always uh, focus on the future so yeah uh, right. future is very bright okay so uh, what what about uh, microsoft excel for example because if you see in today's times uh someone who is looking into analytics is looking at uh, r and python and tableau and power bi and so so forth but mm-hmm. do you think microsoft excel is still important as an analytical tool uh, a quick and fast answer will be quick yes um, okay. excel is the base of analytics it is the mother uh, yeah. so uh, one should always uh, start learning start analytics from excel only I, i think that this is my personal opinion um okay. like excel is also uh, uh, like it is relevant still now because it is a part of larger ecosystem like one right. it it can, it it is it won't disappear uh, magically uh, right. so many business analytics projects are still using excel and they will right. use excel in future uh so uh, for business analytics it is a only one use case for example if you have a small scale project uh, right. then then it is very easy to use excel why one should focus on those advanced so called tools um so relevance of excel depends on the business use case i guess um and one should definitely learn excel its advanced uses uh that will be a great help okay yeah so uh, let's say somebody wants to get into uh, data analytics and uh, as a career so what all he or she as a student uh, should take up so for example courses or certifications or some kind of internships um, or projects so what, what what have you done or what do you recommend on that one can always start from learning the basic like mm-hmm. start from stats start from probability uh, mm-hmm. then move to python or are okay. uh, okay. after that after learning python you can always go to uh, uh, exploring the ed exploratory data analysis right. then go to machine learning or, or yeah. other cool stuff that are popular right now right. Uh, right. for doing this you can uh, always take help from uh, the certifications from like you can do some coursera courses or udemy courses as 
these are yes. budget friendly as well uh, right. so but one can always opt for it and right. uh, if if you w- don't want to spend that much money as well just go to youtube and <laughs> start doing the uh, these courses like there are lots right. of content uh, in youtube lots Which of excellent really teachers right. yeah right. lots of excellent teachers are there uh, so it and it, it is just free um, right. and talking about the certifications uh, one one should rather focus on learning uh, rather than making a collection of certifications certificates okay, okay. Uh, uh do good number of projects uh, show them in your resume uh, nice. write full write full details like communicate to the interviewer what you have done in your projects nice. or uh, or uh, do some internship if you if you are getting uh, work with your college professors do mm-hmm. read some research papers all those stuff you can do uh, to get into this industry okay. all right all right yeah. so uh, talking about online certifications and analytics so there are so many of them you have udemy you have coursera you have simply learn you have an academy so which ones uh, would you think are better or which one would you recommend personally personally i am not fan of the certificates actually okay. like I, i am i just focus on learning if i am getting uh, uh, the course uh, uh, without a certificate as well i will do that if that is cool course Uh, so so uh, if you want to do certification then of course uh, udemy and coursera will provide you much budget friendly options i have never right. used simply learn and an academy like they they are i think they are not very much budget friendly uh, as a as a student uh, as uh-huh. as a as a fresher when you are not earning to so much so right. yeah udemy and coursera will be the bestest option if you want to do the courses just just don't focus on uh, a uh, collection uh, again <laughs> just do some learning and uh, go for co- uh, le- uh, courses yeah okay okay yeah so uh, uh, what is your call on the academic background uh, of uh, people or professionals who are looking to build a career in analytics do you think academic background is a, is a big factor uh, for example somebody who has a background in uh, let's say coding or computer science uh will stand a better chance in analytics or do you think somebody else who is coming from let's say commerce background or let's say coming from uh, a non engineering background uh, would be able to build a good career in analytics uh no i guess like uh, i have lots of friends uh, in tiger like they are from some other background they they have done their uh, in bachelor uh, they have the, they they are not from computer science background Uh, okay. so uh, 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 like my 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 own sister is also not from uh, engineering background she is also into uh, this data science domain so uh, you, you just need to be passionate about it if you, if you are if you if you think you can feel the connection just go for it uh, focus on skills focus on problem solving uh, and right. everything can be achieved like uh, the, uh, it is not a big factor to Uh, uh, uh if you are not from the computer science engineering background so background doesn't matter i think okay all right yeah so uh dhiraj a quick uh, rapid fire round uh, before we end this uh, interview so uh, i'll ask you a few questions and you can answer in one word or a sentence as per your liking uh so power bi or tableau your preference <laughs> tableau uh tableau because of its simplicity and its user interface i love that power okay. bi is not so yeah okay have you have you worked on power bi also i tried but it is very complicated for me okay 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 all right uh python or r the more preferred by organizations uh, uh i think python i have done a lot of work in python so python will be my answer okay okay so uh, if you have to select an order of priority so r python and excel in sequence in an order of priority your take uh, excel is must first step is excel and then you can focus on python or r any of uh, and uh, it's your choice uh, either you cho- choose python or r um, if you're comfortable okay. in python go for it if you're comfortable in r go for it okay um online certifications internships what do you recommend internships are better they will give you experience they will give you real world scenarios uh, real world, you you will see real world industry uh, how okay. they are working uh, working with certification will give you uh, the pseudo or dummy knowledge right uh, but internship will always give you the pure and uh, pure experience so experience the live examples the live experience yeah yes 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 okay 
um so if you're a student and given a chance to learn three tools or programming languages and analytics which ones will you select and why i'll choose first first i'll choose obviously excel um, okay and yeah i'll start with excel uh, okay. after that after after learning the excel and its advanced uses then then i'll choose python Okay. Uh, just because of its awesome and simplicity, uh, it has lot of great libraries, uh, right. which we can, which which make our life a lot easier. Right. Uh, and after that, SQL is also very important. Yes. Uh, yeah. Right. So, one suggestion you would like to give to somebody, someone who is looking to build a career in in the area of analytics. Uh, just go for it, man. Uh, don't don't uh, come into uh, the uh, don't just don't, just don't talk. Just do some projects, uh, 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 gain some knowledge, and go for it. Uh, no, no one can stop you. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool. All right, a few words about our YouTube channel. uh please follow uh, ankit he is a great great he has a great content over the youtube yeah, like if you want to you if you want to learn excel uh, you uh, just just go for it uh, yeah, he has a great content uh, yeah all right all right thank you dheera thank you so much for your time and uh, have a great week ahead thank you thanks a lot thanks a lot ankit